Hi everybody, welcome back to 100% Mugs. So this is your match preview going into the game against Manchester City on Saturday at St James Park. And of course it's a half 12 kickoff and it's going to be live on BT Sport. Now of course going into this game, uh, we are going into it on the back of the loss to Aston Villa uh, in a game you know that we should have come away with the three points in if we had have played a little bit better. But unfortunately, you know, the lads seem to be off their game in that game against Aston Villa. Steve Bruce didn't really seem to be that bothered neither by the way we played in that game. And, you know, that's worrying going into this game against Man City, especially considering that Man City are the defending champions of the Premier League this season. They are second in the Premier League as well this season. And, you know, if we look at their players that they have, you know, they've got some really quality players. Of course, if we look at their team going into this game, uh, Sergio Guerrero is a doubt, obviously, for this one, uh, which is a good sign, you know, hopefully he will not be able to play in the game on Saturday, you know, because he is an absolute threat. Every time he's played Newcastle, you know, he's scored against with uh, Leroy Sane, Sinchenko and Lapoet as well are all uh, going to miss this game, which is a good sign as well. You know, hopefully the more of their first team players that miss out, the better it is for we, you know, the better of a chance we've got of coming away from this game with something. But looking at us going into the game, of course, Sean Longstaff will be returning back to action, hopefully, uh, as he has served the last of his three-match suspension, which he picked up in that game against uh, Wolves. You know, and uh, he is now back in contention. Hopefully on Saturday, we'll get straight back into the side. Jamal LaSalle, though, and Matt Ritchie are not going to be available until 2020. Uh, it has been said that Matt Ritchie has had his second operation on that ankle injury, which he picked up off of the Chahundi uh, tackle by Leicester. Uh, and, you know, he won't be back until January of 2020. Jamal LaSalle is probably going to be around the 2020 time as well. So, you know, that's a worrying factor that we're not going to have them two in the side until next year. Uh, but looking at Man City, of course, they had to play on Tuesday night against Shatner Donetsk in the Champions League. Of course, they managed to come away with a 1-1 draw in that game, uh, which allowed them a point enough to confirm their place in the last 16 uh, group stage of the Champions League. And, of course, you know, they've got other games coming up. Uh, you know, so they're going to be thinking about them games more than the game against us, hopefully. Uh, but looking at the ref going in this game is going to be Chris Kavanagh. Now, of course, he's from Manchester, which isn't a good sign. Uh, it is his first game of the season involving us. And, of course, he was recalled by Newcastle fans for agonising periods of added time in the 16-17 campaign uh, down in the championship at both Preston and Brentford, uh, if you remember that. Uh, both ended in victories, of course, for Newcastle, but with some late penalty appeals uh, for the hosts rejected by the Whistler. And, of course, on VAR for this game will be Andre Mariner. So, you know, there's going to be... Another similar feeling like the Aston Villa game, you know, where the Premier League are wanting Newcastle to lose. And, you know, that's something that we we'll always get every season. At the end of the day, we are always going to be the underdog. You know, Newcastle is one of them clubs. We're always going to be uh, disliked by a bunch of fans, you know, from other clubs. And at the end of the day, you know, I'd take that because... Who wants to be the favourite, you know? Who wants to be the team that everybody adores at the end of the day, you know? But moving on, if you look at the game from last season uh, when we played them at St James Park, of course, Newcastle came away 2-1 winners in that game. Uh, but out of the four games that we've played recently, that was the most recent win. Uh, the other two were losses and there was one draw in there as well. Of course, that 2-1 win being the best a uh, moment for Newcastle last season with Rondon scoring and Matt Ritchie getting himself a penalty as well in the game and we're coming away winners uh, against Manchester City. Now, if we can do that again on Saturday, that would be absolutely amazing, you know, but I'm not holding uh, too much hope in it, to be honest, because, you know, we've got quite a few of our first team as missing. Obviously, Jamal Lascelles isn't going to be in the side. Matt Ritchie isn't going to be in the side this time around, but we do have the 
promising acquisitions, you know, in Alan St. Maxim, if he can get going in the game like he did against West Ham and Bournemouth, you know, if he can put in them kinds of performances, he kind of lacked off a little bit in the Aston Villa one, you know, but he didn't really have the service there as much as he needed, uh, you know, and as much as he was getting in the last game as John Joe Shelby really wasn't getting the passes in uh, as pinpoint as he was in them games. But, you know, we're going to this one, hopefully, on the back of coming away from it with a really good win. Uh, let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, remember to like, share, subscribe to 100% Mags. And I'll see you all next time. How are the lads?